Hello everyone. Today we will be covering data Q&A. Data Q&A is a new functionality of BigQuery which allows natural language query over BigQuery tables and views. So basically you need not write any SQL statements and we can directly write the BigQuery as data Q&A. This is a pretty interesting feature. It's like having a search engine hover over big query tables and also this is an alpha release so this is not currently available to general users let's get started now we'll be using a public data set called uh, liquor sales for iowa so this data set essentially contains the sales data of liquor on iowa state before we start, we need to enable data Q&A API. Once it is enabled, we get this tab and you can click on that. First thing you need to do is you want a query and it's currently supporting only views and tables. We need to enable the API over the table and need to mention the table here. I already created a couple of tables and we can use this for today's session. Once it is done, you can go to that query. Here you can start asking questions. So we go to the data set. This is the set we are using. So you can simply ask a question once the table is enabled here. It should be directly listed here. For today's session, we'll only be covering this table. Let's just ask simple questions, say, show sales by year. We just typed it and uh, generated the SQL and we will be able to see below if you want to get the result, just type it. As you observe, it automatically detects which year and everything. It captures all the information and it automatically generated a query. And it gets a question and translates into the query. So let's further ask detailed questions like, which 10 products had the most sales last year? generate it there you go it automatically recognized last year as 2019 here as you can see it generated the query and also grouped it based on item description and also by sales if you run it you will get top products by sales now it is also accessible in sheets so let's go to sheet okay once the sheet is open you need to go to data connectors connect to a query and here you mentioned table as a project select a data set also So we select uh, the Q&A demo data. Once it is connected, yeah, it's connecting. Once it is connected, we can ask this questions here. So it's a data set of 19 million rows and 24 columns. I'm asking the same question, show sales by year. there you go yes we got it now in sheets we have the option of plotting the sales we type plot line chart for sales by year so we get a chart 
and uh, further let's say yeah you even get a bar chart further let's say which city had the most sales in 2018 yeah we got the answer here if you want to order this you can order it based on your necessity it is currently in the descending sequence and uh, one another thing in sheets we have plot capabilities as well you can explore that you can also do that by going to data studio of bigquery in this case you can directly get the charts and the last one we are going to discuss is the chatbot integration using data q and api i have direct i have already created a custom bot and i have added it here this is a q and a demo bot let's start asking questions so after mentioning it i'll just ask what is the top revenue by product last year To create this, we use cloud functions, Q&A, API, and BigQuery. Basically, this cloud functions which communicates to data Q&A, then to BigQuery. So we asked a question and it gave back an answer. Now we can even reduce it. It's by default limiting it to 10. So if we want to reduce it, for example, top revenue, top five revenue by product last year. Okay, let's wait. Oh, sorry, I forgot to add the bot. So before asking question, you need to mention the bot here. I'll just go ahead with a different question. That is, what is the revenue from Black Velvet? this uh, year there you go it took the CS data and answered it based on the query it will be interesting for uh, people who don't have an SQL background and they can directly work with BigQuery using data Q&A this is a pretty interesting future and I am also eagerly waiting for the beta release of this thank you